Welcome everybody to another Hop and Soul unboxing. Uh, two boxes came in over the weekend from Tabor, uh, so let's see what beers we got this week. Uh, in addition, we're getting our first round of merchandise in. Uh, first Hop and Soul, Hop and Halo logoed hats. Uh, we're going to test these out. If everyone likes them, you'll be seeing them for, seeing them for sale from us soon. Uh, so let's see what we got. Uh, remember, for those of you who don't know, Tabor, uh, you sign up for a subscription box by telling them the styles you're interested in, but then you can also go through each day and add several beers as well. Uh, generally, by the month after, I don't remember what I ordered, so this is like Christmas for me. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. Bourbon Barrel Aged Louie from Westbound and Down. Very small can. Oh, English style barley wine. That's why. Uh, appears to be super strong. Brew with uh, deep Colorado roots, uh, always consistent, expertly balanced. Uh, pretty excited about that, but have to be careful with any sort of barley wine. Uh, WA Meadworks Palm Selleck. I love this can. I don't know if you can see. It's uh, Tom Selleck with a pomegranate head leaning against a Ferrari. Uh, contains sulfites. So I don't know if that bothers anybody. I don't care. Uh, Warming Hut Memoirs. Pecan Pie Pastry Stout from Humble Forager. Let's see where they're at. Humble Forager. Uh, I don't like it when they hide the location. Well, it's probably on here somewhere, but I can't tell you because I'm not going to read that closely. Uh, Zigmeister Abyss Series Mariana Imperial New England Style. Where are they from? Hopefully they make it easier to find. New Jersey. Hackettstown, New Jersey. I like it when I get a box that has beers from all over the country. Ooh, a varietal of the classic M43. Love the original M43. This is the Tart Strawberry. Uh, has the IBUs on here, 65 IBUs. Uh, from Old Nation Brewing Company in Michigan. M43 is a great one. If you've never had the original, I highly recommend it. Rare Barrel, another great brewery. I think they're from San Francisco. Yep, our rare bottle, uh, San Francisco. Notes of strawberry, lemonade, uh, tasty, tasty, gone. Contains fruit, please keep cold. What else do we have? Dragon Punch, great can art. I hope they lift the artist on here. They do. Uh, Main and Mill Barrel Works in Festus, Missouri. Oh, I'm probably going to regret this. Pineapple Shake India Pale Ale from Westbrook. I love Westbrook. Uh, their Mexican chocolate cake is one of my favorite stouts. Uh, I don't really like pineapple and not a big fan of Shake IPAs, but I'm going to give it a try. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they'll surprise me. More Umlaut. Uh, Stellwagen. This is a Pilsner. Where is Stellwagen? There in uh, Massachusetts. Wise Man Brewing Company, <laughs> Jose Goze, clever name. Margarita Goes, aged in tequila barrels. I uh, wonder if that does anything to the ABVs on here, like spikes it somehow. Uh, no, only 5.1. That shouldn't be painful then. Land Beer, Rustic Lager, uh, 4.2. This will be a good all day drinking beer from Schilling Beer in New Hampshire. I don't hear a lot about New Hampshire beers. I need to explore, experiment some more. Barrier Brewing Company, Kickin' Knowledge Milkshake, uh, India Pale Ale with vanilla, coconut, lactose, sea salt, caramel, dry hopped with Motika, Mosaic, and Citra. Ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a lot of flavor in that one. Hopefully it's good flavors. Been there, done that, double IPA. Uh, brewed with wheat, oats, dextrose, and hopped with Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic. Uh, from Wilson, North Carolina. What else do we have? Oh, really liking this can art. Let's see what it is. Uh, triple Berry Pie Piggy. Sour Ale with Raspberry, Blackberry, Blueberry, Cinnamon, Vanilla, and Lactose. Uh, brewed and canned by Tripping Animals Brewing in Florida. Great can art. A lot of flavors. Man, everyone's just piling stuff in these days. Uh, Land Beer Dunkel. Rustic Dark Lager, 4.2%, also from Schilling Beer. Those 4.2s are going to be great for some day drinking. Oh, Energy City Bistros. 
If you've never had any of the Bistros, in my mind, they're probably the best smoothie sours going right now. Uh, this one's the Strawberry Coconut Banana. But all the ones I've had of those have been delicious. Uh, Pulp Daddy, cool name. Uh, Greater Good from Massachusetts, 8% India Pale Ale. <laughs> all right. Uh, our old pals at Toppling Goliath. This is Imperial Golden Nugget, uh, double India Pale Ale. You probably know Toppling Goliath from King Sue uh, from Decora, Iowa. Never had a bad beer from Toppling Goliath. I'd say they do some of the best stuff out there right now. Uh, another bistro from Energy City. This one is Orange Alicious. <laughs> oh boy. Ice Cream Days. Mint chocolate chip stout brewed with fresh mint, cocoa nibs, and lactose. Let's see who's sending us this bad boy. Main and Mill again in Festus. I do love mint chocolate chip ice cream. We'll see if I like it in a beer. Queen of Fruits from Great Notion. Uh, let's see here. Anything you can tell me? Portland, Oregon. Tart ale with passion fruit, mango, and mango steen. I don't know what a mango steen is. Let's see if it's any good. Uh, Logsden Farmhouse Ales, Chaos from Within. Dry hopped, brewed with jasmine rice. That's different. Okay. Well. Let's see here. Vibrant Complexity Hazy India Pale Ale from Riverlands Brewing Company in St. Charles, Illinois. New England style IPA, brewed with Citra and El Dorado. Imperial Fruit Cocktail from Southern Grist. Uh, I had one of these not too long ago. It was pretty good. Imperial Sour Ale brewed with lactose, peach, pineapple, cherry, and pear purees. Man, apparently last month when I was ordering beers, I just went based on the number of ingredients. Best of Hands Craft Brewery and Barrel House. Uh, luxury standard, really cool picture of a hotel lobby there. West Seattle, Washington. Uh, another of the Energy City Bistros. This is the Raspberry and Blackberry Crumble. I'm gonna have to ration these beers. There's just so much flavor going on. Revision Brewing Company, Coconut Pie Face. Imperial Stout with Coconut, Cocoa Nibs, Vanilla uh, by Revision Brewing Company. And where is Revision these days? Another one that's a little difficult to find, so we're just gonna have to guess. Luckily you guys have all the internet. You don't need, you don't need me for that. Uh, Block 15 Brewing Company, Fresca Pills, Italian Pilsner. Anyone know what an Italian Pilsner is? I just started having them last year and I'm not really sure what makes Italian Pilsners different. Oh, uh, maybe it's the uh, Pilsner malt that is specifically from a region in Italy. Maybe the can explained it. I like it when that happens. Uh, another of the Italian pills. And then, oh, our buddies at Phase 3, American Style Pilsner. Love Phase 3. Now the other box, I'm guessing, has a lot of bottles in it, because I know I ordered some special bottles as well, in addition to my subscription box. I see wax. Oh, Fremont. Rusty Nail. This is the 2019 barrel age release. Uh, very excited. Probably age that one for a little while, as you do with anything with wax on it. Uh, this is the 2020, so it looks like I ordered a vertical of this. And that would make this the 2018. Uh, this one's got a little more explanation on it. Imperial Oatmeal Stout brewed with licorice, a cinnamon bark added, aged in bourbon barrels. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Braxton Brewing, Dark Charge, <laughs> German Chocolate, Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout, Cocoa Nibs, Coconut Almond, Vanilla Beans. Yeah. Oof. Man, went for a lot of flavors this month. Uh, what do we got here? I like this. Uh, Bozeman Brewing Company, Westland Whiskey Barrel Aged Metamorphic Flanders Style Red, Wild Ale Fermented with Cherry. This is the 2020. Uh, may let that sit for a little while. Another bottle here. Sahali. I think I've heard of this one. Wild Fermentation Ale from the Ale Apothecary, handmade in Bend, Oregon. 
uh, like that it has the bottled right there on the label. Another bottle here, Super Funkadelic, a Go style ale with key lime, cinnamon, and sea salt. Uh, who's making this? Dionysus Brewing. And just a couple more. Kent Falls, Cellarize Sabro, Oak Aged Pale Ale in Kent, Connecticut. Ooh, Listerman. Oh, Listerman makes some sweet beers. Chick now, triple digit. Uh, what can we tell me about this one? Double brown ale with hazelnuts, hazelnuts, chocolate, caramel, and other natural flavors. 10% uh, ABV. Zipline Brewing. This is their gold lager. Uh, where's Zipline? I'm not familiar with these guys. Lincoln, Nebraska. All right. And one more. Oh, specialty can. Czech style lager. Love these special cans. From Junkyard Brewing Company in Moorhead, Minnesota. Uh, so we got a selection from all over the country. It looks like I went heavy on fruits, uh, lactose, some stouts, uh, but all big, bold flavors. Only a couple pills, a couple lagers. Uh, not like me. That's why you need to be careful when you're drinking and going on Tabor. Sometimes you can go a little bit crazy. Uh, anyway, pretty good selection this week. Uh, follow us at Hop and Soul to see the write-ups on each of these beers. Um, also, don't forget the hats coming soon. Make sure you pick one of those up, and we'll see you soon.